anything as bad as that, but we have a lot of mm. wind. It's causing problems. Right. Our own Carla Wade is stuck in traffic right now because mm. of all of this. Brian. She picked a day to have the best excuse. It worked. It's going to work today. All right, take, let's take a look and see what we got. No, really, uh, big winds all across the valley. We expected that. And this is one of those few times where the wind actually trumps the rain story, which was sideways at some point. But uh, for the most part, uh, it's been a little wet. It's been a little dicey, a lot dicey, actually, with the wind. And let me just show you what we're looking at. Definitely sustained winds are just as impressive in some ways as gusts. Even through tonight, we're expecting the winds to stay up. So we're not going to see them wind down, not even for late tonight. There might be some lulls in the activity. That wouldn't surprise me. But they'll be back in again for your Saturday. Breezy to borderline gusty again. And Saturday is when we actually usher in the coldest air. So that's when we start to really see things get blustery more than just windy because we'll add in a little cold, too. And once the winds settle down by Saturday, night. That means overnight into Sunday, it's going to be bitterly cold. I'll show you that in the next seven. Stratcam, got some of those clouds in. If you were lucky enough to see some rain, you probably saw some sun as well. And just the most spectacular rainbow shot ever. And we appreciate everyone for sending them in. Don't stop. We actually like that. We want to show more of that, that rainbow. It's, that rainbow's like this wide, right? It's, it's so big. 51 mile per hour gust still. The peak gust we've seen so far. I suspect by the end of the day, we'll see gusts bigger, certainly in the local mountains. Rain, a lot of this is just reflectivity off some of those clouds, but that most of that rain has moved out toward the east. I'm not expecting any rain in for tonight in our area. Most of that in the form of snow is moving out through Utah. So Futurecast keeps it out, keeps most of the clouds sliding out as well. Should be a decent weekend, but the temperatures are going to really rule the roost. You can see that even by uh, the evening hours. Look, not much coming in. That front swings through pretty quickly here. That'll be for tonight. The front of colder air. And once that gets through and the wind finally settles down, that's what we're looking at, upper 20s. I'm even going to drop that down maybe a little bit more. Either way, afternoon highs will rebound through official winter. It will feel like official winter this weekend, I guarantee it. But when we finally hit winter, it won't exactly feel like winter because we'll be closer to 60 degrees, temperatures falling fast uh, thereafter. All right, back to you. All right.